Most people in America have a way that they meet or greet someone. They could be a neighbor, so they're walking down the street like a nice black man, I feel, does to me and says, hey man. And we started that exchange a long time ago when he was walking across the parking lot and he told me about the pending weather. And I thanked him for that. And since that time, we always try to greet each other, presuming that I'm paying attention and I see him. And presuming he's paying attention and sees me. And that's how we do that in America. We also have business networking organizations in which business entrepreneurs and salespeople of major corporations go to to greet and meet potential prospects, potential sales opportunities, and potential buyers of their companies. The liars of America do not recognize their rights. A retail employee does not always rep remind themselves that they represent billions of dollars in sales. And openly the stupidity of a young person who is impoverished of mind or stupid in time, meaning that they're old but they never learned the lessons of life or the lessons of America Inc., is that they could absolutely be sued to the motherfucking ground by their companies today for immoral behavior, for illegal activity in every way. You signed something when you became a contracted employee, whether it's for an hourly position or a salaried one. And what you said was, I will lawfully represent my company in every way. And if you met someone, technically met them through your company, then you are liable to your company. If you sort of met someone because they're outside your store by your company, you're still liable to your company because it's your company employment that got you in front of that person or put that person in front of you. The liars of America do not recognize rights of other people. The liars of America end up typically in jail because they don't recognize where their boundaries begin and end today. The liar of an American police force is always a liar. Police are somewhat hired for their ability to lie, and I put that forward in a situation that saved me some things, but still cost me $10,000 because of a motherfucking lying police officer. Now, we have plenty of retail women that do not know how to handle men. Because what they did was went off, got married, produced children, but never went into the real workforce, I apologize for that statement, of men and women. They often hire only women. They often hire young-minded men so that they can feel more powerful, more wise, and more forthright in their positions of supervisor or manager. The foolishness is that they don't often know how to te tease, is not the appropriate word, to deal with an educated well-to-do man. A well-to-do man could be a homeless person, that they're in a moment of homelessness because of the liars of America who destroyed him in cybercrime, identity theft, and fraudulent behavior. But people who represent companies must always be aware that they are liable on behalf of their company. I had a very improper conversation occur to me last evening, and I tolerated it because I recognized the immaturity of the manager. I was able to handle it because the Lord guided me through it, but openly she didn't realize how fucking liable she was for thinking she had the right to walk out of her fucking store and act like I'm a 12-year-old boy. I'm not her toy. The liars of America want to play games through their employment because they're not thinking about the full levels of which they're representing in their little paltry polo shirts today. The liars of America need to understand their rights in every way. Someone in your company lied and opened a bag. Someone in your company is a fag. Someone in your company did something stupid on behalf of your company, your organization, and maybe you moved them to another position, or maybe you moved them to another town and city in your company, but that's not going to change their behavior in any way. Now, maybe if you said you're now on probation, congratulations, you fucked your company into a major lawsuit, that might change their thinking in some way. But if a company knows that their employee is doing immoral or illegal behavior, and they simply move them, the company remains incredibly liable today. The liars of America don't want to have to rehire people is absolute truth because many retail organizations are having major attrition, major retention problems because they do not know how to hire correctly and the managers are immoral and immature. These are my observations as a seasoned businessman who lived his life in less than 40 hours a week. And openly many men like me who are far more wealthier than me see the problems of America easily with their forthrightness with their experience, with their seasoning in business, and with their understanding of the manufacturing of America today. The manufacturing of America is what feeds our people, clothes our people, keeps our people transported in every way, 
and the stupid ass hourly employees have never been taught this and that's on your company in every way.